Mitchell here from Sun Valley Trading, Cowboy Industrial Sewing Machines and Leather Machines. Just going to talk about adjusting your press foot height and um, balancing the, the walk, two walking feet, your needle foot and your, your press foot. <coughs> One reason you probably will have to learn how to adjust these is if you're going to change your feet because unfortunately they aren't all the same height. Um, if you want full lift with your harness foot, um, good chance is when you go to put on the dog foot, you will find it will basically hardly reach down to press onto your needle plate. And same thing with the blanket foot. If I put it on here, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's, um, it is quite a bit shorter. So this means that you don't have to adjust. Uh, if you're prepared to take a little bit less lift on your harness foot, if you have to have this set at say 17 mil total lift, um, you probably won't have to adjust it. But if you want to get your, the maximum lift you can get out of this, which is about 22 mil, is about the maximum lift you will get with the harness foot on, um, you you will have to adjust it if you want to go back to some of these other feet. So I'll just run through some of these adjustments and how you make them. To adjust your um, presser foot height, lift height, uh, the first thing you have to do is align this cam here so that you can get both these screws at the same time. Uh, it's normally with the needle about with the eye lining up with the foot there. Um, and you should be able to put your screwdriver in this hole here and just crack this screw. And the one on the bottom. Um, just have to adjust that a little bit. You should be able to loosen that fellow there off. Once you've done that, this um, whole bar here should should be able to move up and down. So you should be able to get about close to 22 mils of lift with your um, your foot right up. So if you want to adjust your needle, your um, presser foot to about that height, that's fine. You just got to make sure that you are still going to have enough travel so that it actually gets right down to the bottom. Um, a little bit of trial and error there, but yeah, basically, if you um, set it up like that, make sure it's straight, and then you can just nip one of these up again. Just enough to hold it, make another measurement, and yeah, we got. 22 mil, so that's about about as much as you're going to get. You mightn't even quite get that. I might have to drop that down a little bit yet. Just I might need a bit more pressure here too. Um, but yeah, if you get 22 mil, you've got to be happy. Probably um, some of them you seem to only be able to get around 21 um, with this foot on. Now to balance the feet, once you adjust this, good chance is you're going to have to balance the distance these walk. You might find that um, that one foot, that your, your um, needle foot isn't walking hardly at all. Um, so that's on this screw up here. Um, so I'll just try and demonstrate this. If I loosen this off now and tighten it, Probably see. Um, I'll just put it like that. Put that down. So now we have the um, the presser foot's walking massively high, and the needle foot's not working, walking at all. 
So what I like to do to adjust this is just get this at full height to start with um, and then loosen this one here because you want these pretty even and then if you just let that down to about half the distance of what it was walking and then try it and just basically you'll get pretty close I think they're now they're pretty even um, so yeah if you're finding that one foot's not walking um, good chance is it's just this balance has gone out and it doesn't always happen just because you adjusted your needle, your um, press foot bar height. You may have forced something or whatever and it's, it's, um, it's slipped somehow. So that's, um, that's a fairly over, good overview of, of that um, adjustment. Obviously you may have to just tinker with it a bit to get it exactly where your machines can operate optimally. But yeah, about 21 to 22 mils of presser foot height is what you want with these with these feet on. Um, but you can run it, you know, from the factory a lot of times they only come set up about 17 mil. And that's probably a good height, good all round height if you're not needing the excess yet excess height and also I won't go into it in detail now but your, your needle bar height should be when it's when it's right down bottom dead center on these machines um, around 26 mil so some stage we'll do a more detailed video on adjusting that but that should give you a bit of an idea all right thank you very much